It was a royal reunion for Kate and Meghan today as the two duchesses attended the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey, and were seen greeting each other with a friendly kiss on both cheeks. Kate and her pregnant sister-in-law, both 37, exchanged the warm greeting as they gathered at the entrance with other senior royals, awaiting the arrival of the Queen and Prince Charles. It is the second joint engagement for the pair in under a week, coming just days after they attended a reception to mark the 50th anniversary of Prince Charles' investiture as Prince of Wales at Buckingham Palace. Meghan was among the first to arrive, and looked elegant in a bespoke all-white ensemble by Victoria Beckham, complete with a chain print dress, coat, bag and shoes, believed to have cost £9,000. It was a stark contrast to the bottle green or dem wool dress and coat, also estimated to have cost £9,000, that she donned when she visited Canada House in London with Prince Harry earlier today, bringing the total cost of her outfits for the day to £18,000. Meanwhile, the Duchess of Cambridge looked very much the lady in red in a recycled Catherine Walker coat and matching dress, which she previously wore in New Zealand in 2014, and a Gina Foster hat. After meeting with dignitaries outside, the royal pair shared the friendly greeting as they took their seats, suggesting a thawing of their rumored frosty relationship. The Commonwealth represents 53 countries and almost 2.4 billion people and 2019 marks the 70th anniversary of the modern Commonwealth, enabling cooperation towards social, political and economic development. In her message released ahead of Commonwealth Day, the head of state has praised how the family of nations inspires its member states to find ways of protecting the planet and its citizens. Millions of people are drawn together because of the collective values shared by the institution, the Queen said in her address to the countries of the Commonwealth. The written message was featured in the order of service for the annual Commonwealth Day service and was seen to hail the value of international cooperation in what is likely to be interpreted as another royal remark on Brexit. The Queen, who has been the head of the Commonwealth, throughout her reign, said, in April last year, I welcomed the leaders of our 53 nations to Buckingham Palace and Windsor Castle for the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, and we all witnessed how the Commonwealth vision offers hope, and inspires us to find ways of protecting our planet, and our people. We are able to look to the future with greater confidence and optimism as a result of the links that we share, and thanks to the networks of cooperation and mutual support to which we contribute, and on which we draw. With enduring commitment through times of great change, successive generations have demonstrated that whilst the goodwill for which the Commonwealth is renowned may be intangible, its impact is very real. Prime Minister Theresa May who also spent her afternoon at Westminster Abbey marking Commonwealth Day alongside the Queen, read a passage from the Bible that could be viewed as significant to Brexit. Reading from Corinthians 12, 14-26, she told the congregation, The body does not consist of one member but of many. If one member suffers, all suffer together with it, if one member is honored, all rejoice together with it. Her 11th hour dash came as EU sources said ambassadors of the 27 member states were told a deal over the Irish backstop had been done with Britain on Saturday, but was rejected by ministers 24 hours later. The Queen was joined at the Commonwealth Day service by Prince Harry, Prince William, Duchess of Cornwall, the Duke of York and the Prince of Wales. Other guests among the 2,000-strong congregation included the Commonwealth Secretary-General Baroness Scotland, alongside high commissioners, ambassadors, faith leaders and more than 800 schoolchildren and young people, and Theresa May. The Prime Minister made a bold statement in a blue patterned coat and coordinated hat and heels, as she tackled the cobbles during her arrival, and finished the look with a gold cuff and colorful pebble necklace. Meanwhile, the Queen and Camilla, 71, both donned a similar deep purple ensemble with matching statement hats and pearl accessories for the service. The Queen's rich purple coat and dress with velvet trimming was by Angela Kelly, which she completed with an amethyst shield brooch, while Camilla opted for a Bruce Oldfield suit and Philip Tracy hat. Commonwealth Day has a special significance this year American Samoa 2019 marks the 70th anniversary of the modern Commonwealth, 
a global network of 53 countries and almost 2.4 billion people. The theme for this year's service was a connected commonwealth which highlights the cooperation between the culturally diverse family of nations who work together in friendship. The beautiful bright flowers which adorn the abbey represent the 53 Commonwealth nations, while female British Mauritian dancers based in London who enjoy performing Sega, a joyful and lively expression of the Mauritian way of life, performed outside the abbey ahead of the royal arrivals. Highlights of the service included performances by Grammy-winning group Clean Bandit and tenor Alfie Bo. The Duchess of Cambridge admired the dress worn by Grace Chaddo of the group Clean Bandit who entertained royalty with the song Symphony. A reflection was given by Louis Pugh, an endurance swimmer, ocean advocate and the UN patron of the oceans. As Kate left the special service, she engaged in conversation with a young girl who appeared to show off something on her colorful t-shirt. Meanwhile, Megan clutched her silk green bag and a bright bouquet of flowers in one hand, and leaned forward and shook hands with the well-wisher with the other. Later in the evening, Charles and Camilla will be guests of the Commonwealth Secretary General at the annual reception which traditionally takes place on Commonwealth Day at Marlborough House, the home of the Commonwealth Secretariat, the institution's civil service, 